This screencast will cover the new feature in Acknowledge 4.3, Linked Acquisitions. Linked acquisitions allow you to record from more than one device at the same time in Acknowledge. The devices that can be connected for linked acquisitions include multiple MP150s, MP36R, B-Alert Wireless EEG, and BioHarness. In this example, I'll show you how to record from an MP150 and B-Alert Wireless EEG system. Please keep in mind that in this example, the B-Alert will not be connected to a subject and will just be recording electrical noise. To perform a linked acquisition, we first need to set up the graph windows for each of our recording devices. On the left, I have a window set up to record from the MP150 system, and it'll be recording one channel of pulse data. On the right-hand side, I have the B-Alert window. And again, if we go to set up channels, I have all of the EEG channels turned on, as well as the EKG channel, which we will be using to send a trigger pulse. If you're using the Cognitive States software, you can also acquire and plot your engagement values. Once we have both windows ready to record, we can go up either to the MP150 or B Alert menu option and select Set Up Linked Acquisitions. This will bring up a dialog box that shows both of our devices that are currently connected and their graph windows. We'll choose to acquire data from both, and then we have to choose how we'd like to synchronize our data. We're going to use the MP150 as a master sync device. To do this, we go down to the drop-down menu where we can specify the synchronizing method. There are three options available. The window defaults to use the timestamp attached to the first sample of each acquisition within the linked acquisition session. What this means is that the system will look for the first timestamp from each graph window and it'll find which timestamp is the latest of the two and get rid of any data from before the first timestamp of the later device. The other options include using simple cutting of the data by lowest number of samples per channel and what this does is it synchronizes the signals based on the last sample of data. And then there's the option that we're going to use. Use the master synchronization device for alignment of acquired data. This option can only be used with MP150 and B-Alert linked acquisitions. Once we've selected this, we can then enable the radio button for the MP150 to be the master synchronizing device. Next, we can choose if we want to merge our results into a new graph at the end of acquisition. If this box is enabled, at the end of recording, both of our graphs will be combined into one merged graph window. You can then choose to merge it and resample to the highest or lowest sample rate. Once we've got everything set up to our satisfaction, we can click on Start Acquisitions. And now you can see that we're recording from both the MP150 system and the B Alert system at the same time. You'll see the MP150 pulse data on the left and the B Alert on the right. When you click on Stop, you'll be prompted to save your file. This will be our merged file. I'll save it to the desktop. And now you'll see our merged graph file is created. And this has both the B Alert and the MP150 data contained in it. You'll see we still have both raw files on the left and the right, and we have the merged file that contains both the B alert and the pulse data. If we take a closer look at the merged data file, we'll again see all of our B alert data, the merged pulse data from the MP150, and here you'll see the EKG channel from the B alert headset that we used for synchronization. Here you'll see that synchronization pulse that was sent from the MP150 to the B-Alert headset. When the graphs were merged, the system took the acquired data that was coming in from the pulse channel and then found where this synchronization pulse started, lined them up, and removed any data from the MP150 that had come in before this synchronization pulse began. Now, these two files are linked based on this synchronization pulse. Again, with the linked acquisitions, in the end, you'll end up with your two raw files from your recording hardware and the merged acquisition file. 
For more information, you can watch additional Acknowledge software tutorials on our website or contact us at info at biopac.com or 805-685-0066.